Well, to Delta State, where youths have uh, held a peaceful protest at the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited office over the ongoing closure of Taurus Oil and Gas, a major source of employment for the local population. The chairman of the Koko Community Management Authority, which oversees the daily affairs of the community, says that the demand for the reopening of Taurus Oil is what prompts the protest. He said that a vessel brings over 12 million litres of seawater into the depot instead of petrol. Now, since the depot's closure, crime and criminal activities have increased as the facility and its jetty serve as crucial sources of livelihood for residents, particularly the youth. Since January, Taros, oil and gas and the jetty were blocked or was locked by uh, Nigeria Midstream Downstream Development Agency Regulatory Authority for their own uh, reasons. But what we are told is that instead of supplying uh, PMS to Taros Depot, they brought water. All efforts for us to say, okay, what is happening? What is happening? They come to do investigations in January to today. Nothing has been done. For our own findings, we discovered that the water, the water they even brought was sea water, not cocoa water. How can you bring 12 million liters of water into cocoa? 12 million liters to be candid. So the vessel will bring water and tell the federal government is a PMS. And they are sabotaging the effort of the president. So we are appealing to uh, NNPC, uh, ND, what is it called, uh, regulatory authority, to come to the level of our understanding by doing the needful, by opening up the depot. Because of one singular reason, we are pleading that Tyros company should be open. If there is any issue, the issue should be resolved amicably. The Tyros company that is being locked is sabotaging the economic situation in, of cocoa community. And the youth are suffering, and we cannot longer take it. Yes. Yes. Can we take it? No. Can we take it? No.